this is as close as possible as an MMA fighter to get the feel of what it is and what it takes to be a full-time professional athlete at your sport. No distractions, um, anything at your, at your beck and call. You know, oh, I need a cryotherapy. Oh, I need a massage. Oh, I need a chiropractor. It's here. Um, oh, I need to eat this way. Oh, I need to wake up here. Oh, I would like to go do this. It's here. Last time, I don't think anyone knew what we had, right? I mean, season two was just right after season one, and we're, we're trying to figure out what this could become. We knew it was going to be great. We knew this was going to be awesome, but, and because it was amazing. It felt great. But we didn't really understand, hey, this is our chance to be the most professional that we can be. Were you retired? What were you doing then? Um, I've been focusing on my gym. I was right. focusing on some, some of my fighters. I got some great young talent. Um, I also have been working on a TV show called Kingdom. It's owned, yeah. it's owned by DirecTV. And uh, we, we portray, it's the first scripted drama of mixed martial arts. I do all the fight scenes. I do anything the, that has to do with the fights, I get to do it. In the midst of it, trying to tell my fighters to get goals, my fighter Jamal Pokes, he was like, what's your goals, coach? And I was like, I kind of did everything. He's like, oh, you got to have goals because otherwise we're not really going for anything. I set some goals to try to get 50 wins. And I mean, I think it's a very manageable goal, that 34 right now. And gonna, I plan on continuing that and, and retiring at 50 wins and saying, cool, I did something that not very many people will be able to say they did. For the last 12 years, I told everyone like that I ever talked about, would you ever do it again? I'm like, Never, man, this is so crazy. About three months out before the casting, I'd, I'd read about it on the internet and I was like, oh, that'd be cool. But I had other things on my plate. Uh, I got a phone call from my friend Jason over at the UFC and said, hey, have they contacted you? I was like, no. And he's like, would you be interested? And I, at that point, it became very real. And I was like, would I be interested? I mean, is this the best, something that would be very good for me to get my 50 wins, you know, like to be, to show my kids. And honestly, what happened was I asked my kids, do you guys want to see Daddy back in the UFC? And they're like, we want to see you in the new video game. We're tired of playing the 2012, Dad. Um, <laughs> And so I said, all right, I got, you know, I have Joey, who's 16, he drives a car. I got Tyler, Tyler Ray, who's 13. I've got my son Frankie, who's 11, and my son Maximus, who's 8. And they, they want the new edition of the UFC game, and <laughs> they want to play me in it. So they said, please, Dad, do it. And that, that was my deciding factor, honestly.